Choo. So by now, most of us have seen the new DLC coming out for Mario Kart 8. If you buy both packs, this includes new characters to race as, new vehicles to drive, and a total of 16 new courses. Sounds like standard DLC practices, nothing too special, until you realize what you're actually getting here. Link is now in Mario Kart along with Isabelle and the Villager from Animal Crossing. This is crazy. Go back five years and you were probably saying, oh, Nintendo would never add Link, Kirby, Samus, or Captain Falcon to Mario Kart. And for good reason, right? Mario Kart is Mario Kart after all, but yet they did add Link partly because a struggling Nintendo is a creative Nintendo. With the lack of third-party support on the Wii U these days, Nintendo needs to do everything they can to extend the life of their games in order to keep fans tied over. You can't release Mario Kart in May with no other games over the summer until Hyrule Warriors in late September and expect consoles to fly off the shelf. And that's where DLC comes in. We've already seen it with Pikmin 3 last year and Mario Bros U before that. Even Hyrule Warriors is announced to get DLC and that game just came out. And you know what's really cool? Come here. Let me tell you a secret. They're doing it right. Instead of locking content on the disc, <clears throat> Capcom. Every ounce of DLC is a completely new addition to the game that wasn't there before, and even if it's something that arguably should have been in the game, it's free, dude. So why not add Link, Kirby, Samus, all the others? People seem to want it, except a lot of people don't want it either. While on one hand, this is really awesome. Add Link, add Samus, add them all. So cool. On the other hand, people want Mario Kart to stay Mario Kart. Where do we draw the line when it comes to what gets in and what doesn't? We already have the characters I mentioned earlier, along with an F-Zero track complete with Blue Falcon, an Animal Crossing track, and a track that seems to be based off of Excite Bike. So where is the line? What characters are appropriate? I may need some help with this one. Hello. We've compiled a quick list of characters we feel deserve some of the spotlight in Mario Kart 8. A quick six, if you will. Whether they come from the Mario universe or we just want to play as them, here they are. Number three! You know what really annoys me? When a franchise has a character so awesome that they neglect for years. Cough, Donkey Kong Country. Yeah, that's right. No sell to here. I'm calling you out, Retro! Can you dig it? King K. Rule is one of my favorite characters and possibly one of my favorite villains of all time. Whether it's his ridiculous costumes in the old games, or his crazy antics in the DKC cartoon, yeah, remember that one? He's just awesome. It's just sad to see he's been out of commission for so long. And before you say he isn't part of the Mario universe, he is since he was playable in that one Mario baseball game that no one played. If Diddy Kong and Funky Kong can join the races, I see no reason as to why K. Rule shouldn't have a spot right next to DK. Number 2 Fawful is one of the funniest characters to come out of the Mario and Luigi series, but unfortunately there isn't much crossover between those games and the console titles. Because of that, I get this feeling that we won't ever see enough of Fawful, and for that reason, I think he should join the race. Originally at this spot, I was thinking about Mallow or Gino, but since Nintendo doesn't own the rights, I believe that Fawful would make a great addition. Number 1 Without a doubt, Egad is the one character I want to play as in Mario Kart. He's seriously just such a cool guy, and I think he would be a perfect addition to the game. He's not significant enough to appear in something like Smash Bros, and apparently not significant enough to actually appear at all in Sunshine where his inventions are being used. I just really hope this guy doesn't fade into obscurity anytime soon. But whatever, as long as I can have him drive Luigi's vacuum car from DS, I'll be happy. So those sound like the lamest characters ever. Who wants to ride around on a vacuum? Number 3! When you think of Nintendo racing games, what comes to mind? Probably not F-Zero because they haven't even made one in so damn long. When was the last time we even got an F-Zero game? 2004? You know what else hasn't happened since 2004? The Patriots winning the frickin' Super Bowl! Even more reason to bring back this steroid-injected monster. I mean, just look at this guy. Falcon PUNCH! But on a serious note, they've already added the freaking Blue Falcon to the game, so who better to ride in it than the Falcon Crotch? Number 2 Kirby Air Ride, that is all. 
Well said, sir! Number one! I've always thought that Kamek was one of the trolliest characters in the Mario games. Look at the stuff he does to you. Okay, I can't remember anything right now, but I always thought he was such a bitch. And guess what, people? He's a Mario Kart 64 reject. Don't believe me? Here's some photographic evidence. I'd like to see you dispute that in a court of law. As my good friend Marshall once said, Kaboom, lawyer. Kamek was in the Mario Kart 64 beta, perhaps as a placeholder for Donkey Kong. But I think he would be a great addition to the Mario Kart franchise. And what better vehicle to ride on than the brand new broom cart? Which is actually just a broom that flies. So those are our character choices. Who do you think should be added to Mario Kart 8? Let us know in that box below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. This, this has been, been a quick six. six. You know what really annoys me? When a character has a fr when a character has a franchise <laughs> When a character has a subway franchise and they just do not have enough pickles. <laughs> That'll be a blooper. <laughs>